welcome to e-commerce store in php and my sqli friends from this video i shall begin to work over this shop page so this is the demo thing if i click over the shop page this page will be made in html 5.0 now so this is our under construction theme and if I click over shop, you know, this page has not been made yet. It is. So I shall begin to make this shop page from this video. For this purpose, I go to my code editor, Notepad++. So I shall make this. First, I press Control N for making a new page. Write some dummy text. So now Control S to save. So I shall save it on the main ecom underscore store folder on the name of shop.php. Now I click save. I remove this text and control S to save. Now I go back to index.php. So friend, now I shall copy some text code from the index. I shall begin from doc type HTML. And I show you that how long code will be copied. Friend, this is I have copied till the closing div, closing div of container, sorry, navbar space navbar dash default ends till the navbar space navbar dash default ends. I have begun to copy this code right from the top doc type HTML and I have copied it till the closing div of navbar space navbar dash default ends. So now I copy it and I go here and I paste it here in shop.php. Once again I go to index.html sorry php now i take the scroll bar down and now i shall copy the code footer code right from php basic syntax where the php basic syntax begins till the end of closing html tag so now i copy it and i paste it at the bottom of this page so friend, now I go to my Chrome browser for watching the preview. So now I click over shop. Now you can see that this is the header of our website. All these icons. This is the search box. And this is the footer. Now everything, all the work, now whatever will be done, we will do in the middle of header and footer because this middle area this area is now empty and on this area now work will be done so friend first i do some amendment you know that this class active I mean home button class was active so now i shall give second ally class active because now the shop page should be shown active on the browser i show you that you are watching that this home background is active actually the shop background should be active so now i refresh the page now you can see that this shop page shop button is active if i click over home then this is the home button now home is active if i click over shop now shop class is active so i take the scroll bar down once again i make one div div start and div close write under the neighbor space neighbor dash default ends and write above the php basic structure and i assign an id not class to it 
name content. Now I comment it. Content starts. I copy this comment and I paste it at the closing div. And here I write ends. I make one more div inside this div. Div start and div close. Now I assign it a class. Class is equal to double cards container. Now I comment it. Container starts. Copy this comment and paste at the closing day. Container ends. I make one more div inside this div. Div start and div close. Class is equal to double cards. Tall empty 12. Call md12 starts. I copy this comment and paste it at the closing div. Call md12 ends. I make one ul tag. ul start and ul close inside this div, inside the call md12 div. And I assign a class to this UL breadcrumb. Breadcrumb starts. I copy it and paste it at the closing UL breadcrumb. Ends. Now I make one li tag, li start and li close. And one anchor tag inside the li. A harf is equal to double cards index.php the main page link home second ally shop Roll has to save. So now I go to my Chrome browser for watching it is preview. So I refresh the page. So friend, now you can watch that this trip has been made in this video. This is home and this is the shop text. So friend, this video I think is enough. So I shall come back in next video and I shall begin my work from ahead of it so I see you in next video Good.